Last time, the guys were grooving on beat of stapling an air barrier. They also taped the sheets tight. Now Ben's going to cut holes in them just to prove that he can seal them, using two methods. The first method involves using a stretchy tape with a split-release paper on the back. Ben removes one half of the release paper and sticks the tape to the outer ring of the workbox. Next, he removes the outer strip of paper and bends the tape around the workbox and onto the sealing membrane. Finally, he forms the tape to the face of the box. This also works for penetrations through walls, like this pile of wire. Peel one side of the backing tape and stick the tape to the wire, all the way around. Then, remove the rest of the backing paper and stick the tape to the wall membrane. This method also works on bigger masses of pipe and wire. The other way to do it is to bed the sheet membrane into sealant. This means using an airtight work box with a flange built into the perimeter. These particular boxes come from allied molding. Poke the nozzle into the hole and slip it above the membrane. Run a continuous bead around the perimeter of the work box and then use a putty knife to tool the membrane into the sealant. For good measure, Ben runs another bead around the edge of the hole and tools that into place too. When he's sealed all the holes in the ceiling, he goes about cutting holes in the walls. These walls also have flanged work boxes, so the same sealant trick works here. Correct, yeah, this is the flange of our... He runs a bead around the flange and tools the membrane into the sealant for an airtight electrical box. Airtight electrical box.